Hello, random ladies and gents. If you didn't know, this past Monday was International Dog Day, which also happened to coincide with Women's Equality Day, so take that for what you will. So I figured, why not celebrate man's best friend with a paleolog? The video is super, super late. Click, shut up! <laughs> Sorry for the minor interruption, random ladies and gents. Anyway, carrying on from where I left off, we all love our doggos. Some of us a little too much. And during this international holiday, we get to celebrate our bonds with man's best friend. Today, however, I want to talk about a very special group of animals. One very familiar to our dogs, yet so distant. The bear dogs. And I don't mean this bear dog, I mean these bear dogs. The family Amphisionidae, aka the bear dogs, are an extinct group of carnivorous mammals that were once widespread across the planet from the Eocene to as surprisingly recent as the Pliocene, evolving into a variety of different forms from the meek Cynodictus to the immense and powerful Amphicyon. Despite the name and possessing traits of both bears and dogs, bear dogs were neither. Instead, they were a more basal member of the suborder Caniforma. Although we are finding that on the family tree, bear dogs sat closer to dogs in terms of relation, albeit very distant. The earliest bear dogs started out as small, fox-sized predators preying on small animals like rodents and lizards. The reason for this can be attributed to many factors, such as the environment of the Eocene or Oligocene, which offered a climate favoring the growth of forests and favored the development of browsing animals which in turn provided heavy competition from other predators of the time that specialized in hunting said browsers, including hyenodonts, nimravids, and entelodonts. Under such conditions, bear dogs had to find a niche that didn't outright go up against other predators, and so remained small and became specialized, occupying different niches of smaller predators. One example of early bear dog is Cynodictus, a hardy little doggo that lived in Eurasia from the late Eocene to the early Oligocene. This early bear dog was small, approximately 30 centimeters at the shoulder. Already this animal shared traits that can be seen in later mammalian carnivores, to the point where it was once thought that it was the earliest ancestor to canids. But over the years of study, we know it was a bear dog on a separate evolutionary path from the progenitors of modern canines and bears. Fun fact! It's also thought that Cynodictus was a burrower based on the front limbs being built much more powerful than the hind limbs, which could have served as an adaptation for digging which, given the niche that it was occupying and the prey that it was likely going after, was a useful adaptation. However, as the climate changed and the forests began giving away to grassland, the odds became stacked in the bear dog's favor as they began to adapt and change better than most of their former competitors, and as a result, began growing larger and replacing these competitors in their respective niches. With the exception of Entelodonts, who also grew the larger forms like Deodon. The most popular known and by far amongst the largest genera of bear dogs is the type species of this family, Amphicyon. Amphicyon was a curious animal and one of the biggest predators of its time, with species ranging from the sizes of 8 feet, or 2.5 meters in length, and over 600 kilograms, which is over 1300 pounds. While Amphicyon possessed a skull and teeth reminiscent of canids, it had the stocky robust body of a bear, as well as having a similar gait. Not to mention having an omnivorous diet like modern brown bears, despite depictions in certain media as hypercarnivores. Ironically, the bear dogs would fall to extinction the same way their competitors did, not only due to being unable to adapt to the rapid changes of climate fast enough, but ultimately being replaced by much more modern, much more intelligent caniforms like bears and dogs. The last of the bear dogs disappeared during the late Pliocene, around the time the first humans evolved. When they did roam the Earth, the bear dogs became one of the most widespread groups of mammalian predators ever to roam this planet, occupying different niches throughout their evolution, from small burrowers to massive predators, until they were ironically replaced by much more modern animals. I guess you could say you can't teach an old bear dog new tricks. You see that? That was terrible.